uh, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. Those walking with the Spirit are under no condemnation. Come along uh, with me and you'll see clearly that the truth is all that has ever meant is to keep your love light alive. For if you got your love light on, and you're, then you're walking with the Spirit, and God has never had any condemnation over anyone that keeps their love alive. And the good news is, on a really hot day, I found a nice shady spot sitting in the shade. And uh, it's time to our, turn our attention to what the Lord is sending in this world in order to bring peace. The most perfect preparation of his peace is his kingdom age new covenant of Jeremiah 31. Because he proclaims to the world, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and I will never remember your sin. God is not a liar. If he sent one person to hell because of their sin, he would be a uh, he would be a liar because he would remember their sin and the 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 whole truth is is apparent and uh, the Lord has never lied he is truth utter gospel truth but there has been a veil over our eyes and uh, he is pulling it away so let it be understood that this testimony of the gospel of the doves love his love the adoration of his love, which one drop of his love is like the ocean of his adoration. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. He is our majesty of majesties, hero of heroes. He is our carpenter of the ages. And he's now bringing forth the Most High's most merciful judgment that shall befall the house of God by splitting many congregations apart, whether that be in churches or synagogues or uh, uh, mosques, it does not matter. The wheat shall leave the, the tares. Um, Christ said that the wheat and the tares could only grow together until the time of the harvest. That time is, is now. And uh, praise God, so uh, it's time to take a huge giant leap ahead for all of mankind because what he is doing in this hour the Lord has removed Satan for 1,000 years provably by uh, interpretation of prophecy properly co correctly and if I am, am correct about everything that I'm saying the new covenant that Christianity is standing upon uh, so shall the shattering of the power of holy people be, because the truth is it was always uh, um, written correctly uh, to Israel and all mankind. And what uh, proves that, the Bible self-interprets itself, what proves that is Isaiah 54. Uh, Isaiah foretold that the day would come when the seed of Israel would in inherit all mankind. Uh, so provably it's true that the, the, the blessing of God was to all mankind. And God would be a liar if, 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 if all people didn't know him from the least to the greatest because that is what he says, Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35, uh, I believe it's 35. So Jeremiah 31, 35. And God says, and all shall know me from the least to the greatest. How? When 10-13% uh, of uh, humanity does not even believe in him? Well, our born again uh, definition has always been wrong because those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So if you're born of, of God and know God, there's no condemnation over you. Uh, God has his love transcendent upon each and every one of us and praise God that uh, you know the only way that we could perish is the unforgivable sin blasphemy of the Holy Spirit where we would let our love light perish 
So it's time in this hour for the Lord's faithful few to abandon all, all churches, mosques, temples that do not believe in the word of prophecy. God, with his harvest of love, intends on flattening the curve, not on COVID, that'll go too, but uh, on spiritual racism. People in this world have hated you because of what you believe, not because of what you look like or how you act. Uh, hatred over what we believe. And that will depart Micah 4, 5 in the fullness of the uh, kingdom age. They'll walk in the name of their God. They'll walk in the name of their God. And they'll all walk in, in peace with no condemnation. Um, because what is peace? It's a lack of uh, uh, conflict. And uh, that is what mu must come. Because uh, let God be true or all men liars. That is what the word of God says. And it, it, it has cautioned all of us always never to walk unto our own understandings, not to lean onto our own understandings. And we did it anyway. And now we have nothing but desolate heritage, Isaiah 49, 8, Pro provably so because uh, the born again thing was always wrong. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Born again, flame back on. Johnny Torch time. So it's time that the, the, the good fruit is removed from the bowl away from the bad fruit or all the fruit will become bad. So these are the days of Habakkuk 2, the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the latter day Daniel. Daniel 12, 13, all the same guy, water, steam, and ice. And uh, so in these days, the, the, the words resound for the vision of God of the kingdom age arising was written plainly on the tablet. So all those hearing it may run or all those reading it may run. This is a foretelling about the vision of God from Habakkuk 2. God said, Surely, surely, I tell you, at the end it will come true. If it tarries, wait for it. It will surely come. Behold, he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, even though he uh, has been transgressed by wine, because he shall be as hell and shall never be satisfied as he embraces all people of the earth unto himself for his risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. John 10, 15, 16. For it is clear, Jesus said so himself in John 10, 15, uh, 17. He is not the Messiah, Jesus of Christians. He is not Esau, the Messiah of Islam. He is not Yeshua, the Messiah of Judaism. He is the Messiah of all mankind. That's what he said, if it counts what he said. And uh, so praise the Lord that it's time the faithful few must abandon apostate like churches and many people have a form of godliness but deny the power of love therein and uh, that's because they let their love wax cold and they adopt a, a, a noun kind of a love instead of a verb kind of love, and they let their love die so it's not even in motion. And then they become part of the walking dead. But ignorance, people, there is no dark darkness but ignorance al alone. And uh, everyone who allows ignorance to cloud over their eyes, they can never possibly hope to see where the darkest shadow of apostasy is continually eating away at their diminishing light of the truest truth of love that I have come to reveal as the Lord's messenger of Malachi 3.1. Uh, behold, he who uh, prepares the way before the Lord. So the Lord is not the covenant messenger of that verse, Malachi 3.1. He is a covenant sender, he's a covenant mediator, and he's the covenant writer. But I am the messenger to give the message of Isaiah 41 unto Israel. 
That's because the Kingdom Age Covenant is addressed to them and all mankind. And uh, Isaiah 54, uh, mankind is inherited now by Israel, who are now called Chrislam by God's uh, word in Isaiah 62 too, because God said at the end he would give them a new name after they received their kingdom age new covenant and that name he picked is Chrislam. And know this that uh, uh, Muhammad said the same thing as Paul. Paul said that when the kingdom age covenant came all would be obsolete all faith, uh, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, it's all obsolete now. And uh, and he even rewrote the words uh, because God is saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity. I will never remember it. Sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years. And uh, Muhammad wrote the same thing in the Hadith. Uh, was a greater uh, kingdom age prophecy than the Quran had. Because in the Hadith, he said, there shall come a day when there shall be no more left of the Quran except its outward form. And my people shall belong to another that sounds like Islam. He said, that'll get rid of distortions of faith. Uh, he said it would happen because of a book coming that would prove God's mercy and that his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam, Chrislam. And... Uh, so the, the real truth is that all, all people have been looking through a glass darkly because we have not understood the depths of God's love for us. They have been uh, a drop of his love. is uh, uh, Within that is an ocean of his adoration for one and all of us. And these are the days of the glory of God covering the earth as waters covering the sea, as uh, grass covering the lands, as sands covering the most desolate of deserts. So let it be known that Christ came to bring division between friends and relatives. Uh, he has brought a sword, but now the sword has been retired and he brings forth the sickle of Revelation 14. He foretold that when the sickle comes, of Amos 9 and that people would finally realize that he has been the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper that the harvest would be over and uh, the harvest though over in a sense uh, all nations have immediately become the Lord's uh, Revelation 10 7 when the seven trumpet blew first and it blew first because the first is last the last is first even what mankind thought was the last the new jerusalem it has also been the first one of the first because the first is last the last is first uh the new jerusalem can anyone can see it all you got to do is is google uh new jerusalem nasa and you'll see the celestial city with um um uh, taken by the Hubble uh, Space Telescope on the edge of our universe. And through the spirit of Moses, uh, through the Lord's dove of love that I'm reading from, it'll be seen that his gospel of, of love uh, is the book of God's greatest expectation to, to rid the world of distortional understandings so that the wise may shine as the stars that we were lovingly and fearfully and uh, wonderfully created to be. And uh, these are the days when much more divine peace will be able to come forth between uh, those from all faiths. And uh, know that through the spirit of G Gideon, let it be declared that the day of ignorance is finally over. For all those desiring the fullness of revelation, knowledge that all men may now rest in. And in these days, the, the proud and the arrogant and the haughty will ha have no root or branch left to hold on to with my message. And uh, th these will be days burning as an oven in their mind. For the refiner's fire of uh, Malachi prophecy through the Elijah task is the coming of truth which will burn out our deceptions and our error but it's going to hurt like hell uh, letting go of that which we have believed all of our life wrongly and we have all all mankind has been covered 
by gross darkness, Isaiah 60. And this was all of understanding. I tell you truly, as great of a difference between the, the age of law, the understanding of God's love, uh, and the age of grace, uh, as great of a difference in understanding between those two, so also is the difference between the age of grace and the kingdom age which has come. Paul wrote that uh, uh, no, no one in the flesh could inherit the kingdom of God. That is not true anymore because now that God has given the, um, the uh, kingdom age covenant of Hebrews 8 that Paul said everything would be obsolete once this comes. Because these are the days of Romans 11, 25 to 27. And when the fullness of the time of Gentiles comes, all Israel is saved because of the covenant God made with them. That is what Paul wrote there. So these are the fullness of the time of the Gentiles comes forth. And that kingdom age, uh, the difference in our understanding of his love here compared to the understanding of our his love here in the the prior uh, age of grace there's total totally uh, totally different uh, because his unconditional love was veiled and it always has been unconditional and that is what the message of his uh, Malachi 3 1 uh, to prepare his way that message is the covenant message and that verse says so and I am the bringer because I've got 1350 videos so far all preaching the kingdom age covenant. If I'm not the messenger of that, then I don't know who is. So it's it's time that we all reverse the curse together and stand up for truth. So let it be declared that uh, all this has come through the spirit of Daniel, as Daniel 12, 13 foretold, that there would be a latter day Daniel. And so let it be declared that the gospel of the dove of uh, God's love has been ordered to open at times in exactly as Daniel 12, 9 foretold because his word could it had to open at the end. And, um, and that is why as Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine, that is why the scepter of all authority that Moses planted in Judah has transferred now unto me. One like Moses would come. He said so in Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. Uh, I am a kingdom age covenant uh, giver. He brought the uh, age of law. I am the one that will cause the great falling away. The exodus, the great exodus of Second Thessalonians. That the word of God says has to happen before Isa Yeshua, Jesus our Messiah, could return. So know that uh, it'll now be seen that the sign of Jonah uh, has come. And the sign of Jonah is this, that the precedent in Jonah 3 has been set, that God relented and destroyed them not. And um, God is offering in these latter days, it is written, Jeremiah 30, 24, in the latter days, it says so that uh, something would happen and God would say unto all mankind, I shall return your terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation uh, if you will give me the desire of my heart to accept the brotherhood of love that he has united us within. There is no way to get out of that unity except to kill yourself. Don't do that one. That is not a good one. Uh, but it, it is absolutely true. For the returning Lord is man's only resurrection, uh, and it's a resurrection of love. And uh, praise God, free at last, free at last. We can finally all be free at last within his overflowing love. And his love is as like a, 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 a fountain of blessedness if we will have arms open to receive will you believe his word and will you believe that there has been a mystery as the bible says in revelation 10 7 because i'm going to have a lot of people pointing at me heretic blasphemer heretic when all the while god has given me the gift of daniel daniel 12 13 
the original Daniel, the gift of prophecy interpretation, and God has breathed upon me to bring a new understanding of something that has been hidden plainly in the Bible and the Word of God through uh, all the ages. And uh, praise God, free at last, free at last. John the Beloved said this, that he foretold that his words, along with the everlasting gospel, which I have written, has to go to all people, to all nations, to all tribes, and that God's word would come forth in the end, Jeremiah 1.10, Haggai 2.2, 2, to tear down all the kingdoms of man, all imaginations of all, not built solely upon his unconditional love. And when that happens, John the Beloved said that his words, not mine, would have to go again to all people, to all tribes, to, uh, to everyone. And what words are those? Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. That is the key to understanding the truth to God's word uh, in, in his kingdom age covenant. Thus saith God, all shall know me. All of mankind shall know me from the least to the greatest. And even if it wasn't all of mankind, if it was to Israel, which is, it was to Israel and all mankind, if he was just speaking to Israel, and all Israel shall know me from the least to the greatest. That's what it actually says there. And uh, so that means out of uh, millions of people, that means all the atheists among Israel would know them too. It's just the same thing. Um, so the truth is, people, that the, the, the blessing of the kingdom age has now come. Will you let it manifest? Will you spread the truth about uh, God's peace coming unto earth? Because woe unto all those that say, uh, uh, our Prince of Peace never going to send no kingdom-based peace, you know. Nice house, nobody home, elevator skip lock.